Mr. Mummy, if you don't mind, I need to take this book. Please don't wake up. I got the Malice Maleficarium. Maybe I can stop it from coming out. I forget where it comes from again. pencils anyway. Shit. There's one over here too. What? I don't like this guy. Whatever does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? where the things are coming from, right? Oh shit. Uh, hello? There we go. Did I get it? I definitely did not. Fucking shit. Ah. Oh boy, he moving. He grooving. Shit. Oh, I think I died. Yeah. Dead. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how that would work. Whoops. You got any pencils around here, my dude? They have batteries. Oh, that's probably good. We should probably... Oh, I can see around you. Okay. And that's the photocopier. Alright, well, I got the batteries. How many batteries do I have? Oh, I do have a pencil. I'm looking at the wrong fucking inventory. Of course I am. I have a pencil. Good. No pencils at all, huh? I love that name. really appreciate how um, I 
I get it? I don't think I did. I don't even think that is an explosion. <laughs> I don't think that counts as an explosion, to be honest. Sure of how to destroy this thing. Oh, that might. Ah! You cheating bastard. This is not good. I'm gonna get hit by this thing. Yep. I'm gonna keep myself, whoops, fueled.
Everything is gone. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Can I leave now? Remember how I actually don't know how to leave? Is this, is it down here? Uh, yeah. Okay. My thoughts exactly. Sweet. Thanks. I hated it. Okay, so I guess we have to go and see Sinatra now. <laughs> that was a fluke, Vera. That was a fluke. I think I just happened to pop into it uh, and it blew up. I thought I, fi I thought maybe I could like stab it with the pencil, but I don't think that would have done I don't think that would have done shit, to be honest. Uh, okay. S yes. Oh, sorry. Let me just pop in here. I want to go check out the dark, the dark areas now. Wait, stop avoiding me, please. Here's the book. Excellent work. Uh, no. Something wrong? Look, Sinatra. I've come face to face with a kind of mechanized man spider that was throwing bombs with its eyes at me, and there was a mummy in the dark, and... Sinatra, don't give a fuck. And well, this isn't for me. I'm not going to fit in here. I thought this was going to be a normal office job, checking papers and going out for coffee at mid-morning. I understand how you feel. We know that this is not an easy task and that you have a special responsibility within the company. On behalf of the Syndra Corp, I would like to convey our full confidence in your capabilities. I would also like to inform you that I, personally, see great potential in you. The fact that you've got the book just proves it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let me remind you that your efforts are not overlooked at Syndracorp. As a reward for your work, I, you will receive a bonus of a thousand credits, which I will transfer to your account. Like you, if you like, let's have a look at the contents of this book. All right, let's look at the Malus Malficarium. Interesting. Yeah. Reading completed. This is a book from the 15th century, which was created to identify and hunt witches. As language has changed since then, I will summarize the relevant details. Do you mean like that? First, where to find a witch? Witches make their layers in places which have deep meaning or bond to their lives. Although their hiding places are often separated from urban centers, thanks to their human appearance, they can infiltrate nearby communities with few issues. Okay. How to recognize a witch. Witches are those women who have made a pact with the devil to transform and, and manipulate men, steal babies to raise them as their own children, and fly with the aid of a broom. Although they spend most of their existence alone, they usually have several acolytes or followers. Among them are the so-called familiar spirits, companions, animals that carry out, companion animals that carry out their words. Any woman can be a witch, since one of their powers is transmigration, the ability to swap bodies with another. I have many thoughts about this. And finally, how to kill a witch. Sweet holy fire! It is the most effective method to eradicate the majority of witches. There are tales of exceptionally powerful witches throughout history who have proven to be immune to flames, of course. Let me guess, she's residing in this building. According to my records, in fact, our witch was burned alive several decades ago. However, her curse has continued to spread throughout the company. Ah, of course, we need a sword. According to the book, the only way to put an end to the most powerful witches is to use a special material dagger called an anthem. Anthme? Anthemy. This weapon of great power can also have a deterrent effect, warding witches away from the wilder. This all sounds like a fairy tale. I have several thoughts about this uh, as a history major. We can talk about that in a second. What do you mean? Well, everybody knows witches don't exist, and if they really existed, I don't think they'd fly on a broom. They're hardly aerodynamic, and it would be so uncomfortable. I mean, you want me to go question women all over the company and try to try stabbing them with a knife? 
I'm pretty sure that would also kill people who are, which is, it's clear, really clear that this, that something strange happened in this company, but I doubt very much that the problem will be solved by using a witch hunting guidebook from 500 years ago. Can't you see that doesn't make any sense? Sinatra doesn't care. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to put my life on the line for this. Again, I'll just go to my office and I'll sit in my chair and I won't disturb anyone. You're sitting in your office right now. What is that? There is an event planned. Leave the session as soon as possible. Remember not to reveal your real job to anyone. Did you just call me Brian? Brian! <laughs> what is it called in the French Legion? What are you still doing here? Oh my... I was only kidding about the French Legion. Oh mon dieu, get your ass to the meeting room. Or what is he gonna do, hog time me? Come on, come on, come on. What are you? We are the lowest of the low. I doubt it. What are you? We're garbage. My horse's ass smells better than you do. You're shit. What should you be? The best. What? The best of the best. And how are you going to achieve this? With our work. I don't want your dirty work. What else do you have? Our blood. <laughs> well, let's see. Mr. Hugo, come closer. Hugo, what are you? I guess you should be Hugo. I'm the lowest of the low. I like how he says it with a smile on his face. Well, I didn't know the lowest smelled like a sewer. It's because I'm garbage. That describes you better. But what should you be? The best. What? The best of the best. I see. And how do you intend to achieve this? With my work. But you're a bum, Mr. Hugo. What else have you got? With my blood. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You go back to your place. Today I want to talk to you about something very important. A legend you all know. I want to tell you about the witch. The witch is among us, comrades. Uh, sorry, I thought we were French. And she has the form of a woman. I don't consider myself sexist. <laughs> Sosa knows what's up. But it's like that. It's a fact. It could be that lady you chat with about the weather in the elevator. The girl you drink coffee with. Lend pens to. Or maybe send her a fax in triplicate. But Colonel, everyone knows witches aren't real. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Yeah? Let me tell you something that happened to me a few weeks ago. Dada and I were in the canteen chatting with friends, having a snack. They were our well-earned 15 minutes of rest. When I realized, sacre bleu. It was more than half an hour since we came down. We had to get back to our job as soon as possible. We don't get paid for drinking coffee. Colonel Dumont. We all crowded into the elevator, hammered the button to our floor, hoping the evil machine would move faster. The elevator went up to our floor at a turtle's pace, and just before the doors opened, quel melange. The elevator was blocked. No matter how hard we pushed it, the doors wouldn't open. I tried in vain to calm us all down. The setbacks are normal. It was only a matter of time before it worked again. But the truth was, I didn't succeed. My desire to get out of there and reach my destination grew exponentially every second. Not just me, I saw Dada suffered from the severe, or from the same exacerbated anguish. Something ran up my spine, silky lips, a woman's lips, kissed me on the cheek, and in that very moment, the lights went out. Without light, people exploded in, into chaos. Everybody started shouting, pushing, shoving, hammering on the doors to get out. And then we heard a sound. Like a razor blade cutting through an eyeball. Oddly. Triplicate. Why not quadruplicate? The sharp sound went through my entire nervous system. I just, what an interesting concept. What an interesting thing. Like a razor blade cutting through an eyeball. So like squish. Because an eyeball is squishy. At that moment, we all knew that death had come to take us away. But she, the witch, was among us. 
Around me, I began to hear cries of pain from my companions. It was a slaughterhouse. I couldn't believe this was happening to me. Mon Dieu! Pourquoi? And then a miracle happened. The doors opened and let the heavenly light from my floor enter. This caused Dada to awaken from a trance, and, like an unconscious spark, he took a great leap out of the elevator and escaped from that nightmare. A great sigh of relief we came, from, came from our lungs. We were safe. But just before the doors closed, covering up the whole massacre, icy lips hissed their way up my spine again, this time to my ears, and they whispered three words to me. Three words I'll remember all my life. Work. 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 What did she say to me? <coughs> work, work, work. I hope you learn not to loiter in the canteen or you know what's waiting for you. All right, all right. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right. You lot are looking good today. Now then, I think we have a new recruit. Yeah, you, you. What's your name, boy? My name is Pastor Nack. Kid, do you see this horse? <laughs> the horse wants to know if you see it. Yeah, sure, sure. His name is Dada. And he replaces all my virile impotence. Excuse me? I don't have to prove anything with... <laughs> a superior being, I'm Charlemagne. But you, though, down there, you're nobody. If you don't make yourself noticed, if you don't stand tall and push out your chest and scream like a man hunting a mammoth, if you don't, look, come closer. <laughs> Dada doesn't like that. Drop that briefcase. You don't need to hide behind any shield. Be a man, for God's sake. Well? Well? Your name... Ah, uh, yes. My name is Pastor Nack. Did you know that your last name is of Jewish European origin? No. It means parsnip. From this moment on, that will be your new name. Parsnip. It's true. You know what? We have to respect him. He admits that he's compensating. I always think of that Trek scene when they go, get to Lord Farquaad's castle for the first time and <laughs> you think he's compensating for something. And, like, it just hangs there. It's the jokes you don't get as a child. Boy, I see you need motivation. I... No, just... I'm super motivated. With each failure, you lose 200 credits. What? <laughs> no, no, no. Take parsnip. What are you? Uh, I'm the lowest of the low. I'm shit. What? The best. best of the best. How do you intend to achieve this? With my work. It's not enough. What else you got? My blood. Well, well, well. Since you're new, I'll give you a motivational task for your initiation. You don't really have to. It's alright. It's a favor. I'm doing for you. I can't believe he just robbed me. This, you know what this is? This is exactly like that fucking guy in Unmetal. The Texas. The Texas guy. Only two things come out of Texas. Propane and propane accessories. What could it be? I'll let Dada choose, Colonel, like in the old days. What a great idea. Dada shall decide. Let's see. On what motivational task can we send the parsnip? Dada is deciding my fate. What a great idea. Is this for real? This is a load of barnacles. Suck like bleu. Dada has been benevolent in giving you an easy task. Pastor Nack, you'll have to make a friend in the office. But what office? There's a lot of them in the building. Colonel, I thought I heard it. Must be someone from the fourth floor. From the hive. <gasps> so says Shuck. Splendid. In this way, synergies will be generated between floors. Dada, my friend, you're a genius. Is that clear to you, Parsnip? I have to make a friend in the hive. Perfect! And that concludes today's motivational session. Now get to work. Adieu. Stole fucking money from me, asshole. Oh, my briefcase, though. Parsnip. <laughs>
Oh, you left your briefcase in the conference room. Thank you. I'm still a little out of sorts after everything that just happened. It's normal. It's best to play along. You'll get used to it. And I'm glad I did the horse trick. The colonel's mad as ha colonel's mad as a hatter. Who knows where he would have sent you? Also, human resources are in the hive. Make a friend there. Who knows? They might raise your salary, or they might even change your job. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll see you around. Hugo's the witch. Hey, 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 hey! You, I know you. What are you doing here? Hello. She can't hear me. She's listening to music. I can't hear you. I'm listening to music. If you want to buy something, take it and leave the money. Oh, okay, thanks. Again, I can't hear you. What is that? Is that a box? Can I go to the dark areas now? table with several plastic candles. It says offerings may be made to the most holy AM. Sure? I don't know. What, oh, is that like to light up? Yes. Very good. Did we go in here? I don't remember. Oh, we did. Right. There was a crazy man in here. Right? Oh, he's gone now. Thank God. Door is stuck. It's open. I feel like it's probably good to like maybe recheck these things because I feel like I'm gonna find a dead body. Okay, I think we need to go down to the canteen, perhaps, maybe, I don't know, because I feel like I need to make some food. Okay. I'm open. I just wanna check everything again, just do a little quick. Oh, we can go in here now. Pasternak, are you a man of flesh and blood? I am a man of blood. I'm waiting to see you turn into a one when the time comes. Me, 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 I'm a man of blood too, Malone. Shut up, stupid. Here's to you, Mrs. Robinson. Oh, sweet. We were just fucking leaving shit around here. Taking that too. Don't mind me just robbing you of uh, all of your supplies. I got batteries, fuck yeah. Got some nudes. Nice. I feel like I should save. Uh, hi, Rod Tub, right? Hello, darling. You know what I feel like I should be doing? I should be giving her like a Jersey accent or something, but unfortunately I can't speak in Jersey. How are you doing? How's your first day at work? Uh, it could be better. I saw you looked a little bit lost at the motivational meeting. If you want, I'll give you the details on what's what on our floor in no time. Leaving aside the zombies, you've got Sosa and Mappy, they're best friends, but they only talk to each other. I think I think they're a couple because I'm sure this level of social exclusion can't be normal. Anyway, you already know Sosa. Mappy, since you asked, is even worse. And did you notice her face? There's something wrong with that girl's skin. Poor thing. That's also never stopped me before. That is true. I just feel like I, I don't even know how to make that happen. I can barely listen to my French. My French is awful. I should have been giving that guy a French accent. And then I would offend all of Quebec and uh, France. So. So. Yeah. Then we got that lizard over there. I'm alone. Uh, you leave Mrs. Robinson alone. I think she's listening to you. Good. I just, I don't even know how to like, I can't do it. I, ca I can't, I can't do it. Did you know she used to be my friend? Well, I'll tell you about it another time. You try not to get too close to her. There's Colonel Dumont. Also, you already have firsthand experience of him. He has delusions of grandeur, but he actually has ma a minor position. I'd say he's actually beneath us. And Hugo? Oh, Hugo. You've named the worst of them all. He's a pig, a jerk, a prankster with no grace. But he's been with the company the longest. He was here before I got here. And so if you have any problems, he's the one who knows the company best. And he's always willing to help. Look at this. 
I was having trouble sleeping and Hugo gave me these pills. A miracle cure. You think I think pills from strangers? Wow. Those are some big bags on you guys. Do you want the pills? Sure. Thanks. They can come in handy, although I usually sleep in the log. Here, go on. You don't know what it's like to actually sleep until you try it. Yeah, take your drugs. Speaking of Hugo, by the way, it's his birthday and we're throwing a surprise party in the canteen later. Oh, well maybe I'll drop by. I'll see if I have time. What? He's your office mate. You have to go. And more importantly, you have to help us prepare everything. You can't run away, honey. You've been warned. Hello, how are you? I cannot. I said no. I'm sorry. I said no. It's impossible. Okay. Malone looks like she's just also stepped out of 1980. Okay. All right. Super good. Super good. Mega good. Also good. Gotta talk to her later. I was trying to talk to her little cronies, but okay. Um, can we get into sea? We can get into sea. Oh, right, it's uh, okay, got you. She's still staring at the horse ship. What is that? Okay, so she doesn't say anything now. Did we maybe alert somebody that her brain is broken? And then that's the creature, right? Yeah. So we'll just leave that alone. Okay, so I feel like I have thoroughly... Oh, there's one more level, or there's one more door I should check. F. Yeah, it's locked. Okay, let's go down to the canteen. I have some food. I don't have a lot of food. Or maybe you know what we'll do. We'll hit the hive. I gotta find somewhere to save. Uh, maybe before I go, I'll just save really quickly. Just in case. One never knows. <laughs> I love it. I predicted the twist is going to be it's Hugo. Young man, thank you. Okay, let's go down to floor four. We'll just did I just hit three? I did. I actually wanted four. Is that Kate, the girl I met in the lobby? I also can't talk to anybody. Seems very focused on his screen. It's the blue screen of death. Ma'am? Are you okay? How do I get into you? over there because it's poisoned. Are you going to attack me? Hello? This is not the place to talk, Mr. Pasternak. We are under surveillance. Uh, do we know each other? Nobody can see us together. We will find you for your evaluation later. Until then, pretend. What did we say? Oh, are you guys doing okay? There's a dead body over here. So she's somewhere over here. Oh, there she is. Hello. Nice to meet you, partner. Okay, bye. I don't know if you remember me. We met in the lobby? I remember you. Did everything work out with that letter in the end? I mean, you're here, so I guess it did. Oh, well, sort of. I'm working on the fifth floor. You're pulling my leg. Actually, it was the twenty floor, actually. The fifth floor? Well, that's, congratulations. How come you're not jumping for joy? Come on, jump, jump. 
Wow, I'm so jealous of you. Well, it's not such a good job to tell the truth. It's a bit... Have you noticed anything weird? I mean, haven't you seen any dangerous thing or any strange creatures around here? Ah, that. Yeah, I see weird things all the time. I was also surprised by this peculiar atmosphere at first, but Brian, we're newcomers. It's normal that we're not used to how things work here, and of course we're going to be outdone by professional work at this level. We have a lot to learn. Yeah, I guess, but still, it's a little dangerous. Look, I already got the hang of it. Shall I tell you the secret? Oh, please. When I see or believe that there is a dangerous creature nearby, watch. Easy peasy, I'm under the table. They hardly ever see you. Here, you wait a little while for the danger to go away and then continue working as if nothing had happened. And then think about that. The truth is, there are plenty of places to duck. Sure. And if you don't have a table nearby, you can get on one of these closets. Or get in one of these closets. Watch. Easy peasy, I've disappeared. I see you've got it under control. I know it's all a little weird. It's a little weird for me also, but at business school, they always told us that we had to be positive and proactive. Also, if we give up so quickly on our first job, we may not be taken seriously in the next one. You'll see, Brian. Once we get used to the dynamics of the company, everything will go smoothly. A man just attacked me, though, and I'm kind of hurting. By the way, what are you doing here? Uh, well, Colonel Dumont, a very strange fellow with a horse, you told me I had to come to the fourth floor and make a friend. And, well, I thought that maybe, maybe you. Ah, break's over. I have to reconvene in the marketing department. But I haven't finished yet. I still have 30,000 photocopies to organize. I don't know how I'm going to get them all sorted in time. I can help you if you want. Really? But weren't you telling me you were here to do a horse tour? No, no, don't worry. I have some free time. Okay, so this is the marketing department. <laughs> and why are they on all fours? I think it's the latest trend in yoga while you're working. Four employees are missing. They must be somewhere on this. I think I know what one is. They won't be dangerous, will they? They're usually harmless, but if you tell them something they don't like, they'll throw attention. I advise you to look around for good marketing slogans and use those to, con to, use those to convince them to follow you. But keep in mind that each person is different and has a different taste. Bring them here when you've got, when you've convinced them. All right, leave it to me. Fetch quest. Um, how do I know? They're travel magazines. I mean, you like your work every day is a holiday. Funny headline, I remember that. Oh, I, oh, I just have to go into it. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, how much money, oops, how much money do I have? Does it tell me? I need stuff. Uh, this random box, is this gonna come in handy or am I just having a moment? I would like to make some nudes. When did I pick this up? When did I pick that up? I don't remember doing that. Shit. It's a briefcase, but it's blocked with a combination. Of course it is. 
From what I see on the screen, this employee was messaging a colleague, but I can't see what he was writing. Oh, okay. Well, there's one that I can't get to yet. Uh, I really should stop at the canteen. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to go and... Uh... What are you guys talking about? They're circling around some, a giant printer? Oh, that's a pretty cool printer. Okay, I gotta be careful. Oh, there's one there. It hurts so much. What's wrong with you? What did the doctor say? He said, make your diet your best medicine. So you have to eat better? No, he told me to take these meal replacement pills. Look, look. Make your diet your best medicine. That's good advice. I'll remember that. How do I get to this rod here? Unite and be free. Your company union pamphlets. Unite and be free. Got a hook. I remember that phrase. Okay, so I'm looking at stuff. No way out, no way out. Um. I don't think I can help this guy yet. Uh, just because I don't think I've got the slogan I need. That's nice. Human resources locked from the end. <laughs> the exact same thing that happened last time, too. I don't want to talk to anybody who's working right now. Jimmy. Alright, he's not very pleasant to deal with right now. He'll, he'll come down. I'm not telling you. Oh. Don't eat my wires, goat. Get out of here. Should I try this thing? Hey, man. Thanks for getting that goat off my back. You wanted to chew through all the wires. You're welcome. My name is Pasternak. You can call me Doshi. I'm the IT guy. Oh, so you're busy fixing computers? <laughs> no way. I'm getting them to keep the best components. Oh, it's late. I have to leave before the Matrix wakes up. Matrix? The dot matrix, man. Are you new? But yeah, I still get today. Oh, well, you better catch up with the local fauna, ma'am. Here, a welcome present. Oh, that's weird. I have a workshop on the third floor. If you drop by later, maybe I can trade some super cool stuff. Thank you very much. 
Peace, man. Peace. Dude. Alright, you fucking goat, let's go. How can there be so many drawers in this place and... Not one. Uh, you know what I just realized? Oh, over here, okay. I was like, I don't know where I'm going. Alright, can do the pen. How do I get how do I get you? It definitely is not happening. Same guy every time. I don't. I don't know why I keep forgetting that's the guy. Traveling under decks can get me past certain walls. Eh? Interesting. Uh, you see, you would think I gotta stop bothering this guy because he. Jesus, man. Okay, relax. My God. Well, I think unfortunately that's also like a cubicle. I'm gonna have to like fucking buy some goddamn candy bars. Fuck that guy. Hmm. I just legit keep forgetting that that guy is an asshole. Alright, I'm gonna leave for a second because I feel like I need to go and get some food and spend some money and just get down to the canteen. And then we'll go back up to the fourth floor. Okay, he's still eating his super cereal, which is great. Good for him. I got some nudes. Drop something, my dude. Alright, 300 credits. Gone. Oh, I, do I just literally need to make a, a gear, get it like a thing of water? I'd be careful though, because once the water runs out, that's it, right? Lovely. Oh, pencil! Thanks, I actually, actually really needed that. Thanks, my dude. Eat. As long as I you know, can try not to like bash my self into the landmines. Okay, my question now is do they stay herded up in the pen? Oh, they sure do. How do I get to her? Video Club uh, Mysterio Blood Trail. Okay. I got a battery. It's all wall here. Hmm. Alright, let's try and find that other guy again. 
He was up here, wasn't he? Yes. I took a break to cry. It's good to shed a few tears every 50 minutes. Same. on screen. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. I don't think I can do anything like that yet. Maybe I can, I don't know. I feel like I'm, like, just, I'm missing stuff still, you know? I don't know what, but I feel like I am. Okay. They're all mad. Let's not talk to them. Let's not talk to him either. There's a lot of interesting things here. Okay, I don't think we can go down here because there's mist. Don't talk to these people, they don't care. Okay. Talk to anybody on this side? Goodness me. I have no idea how to get to her. Alright, well I guess let's try. Thank you. 
Uh, did not mean to do that. There's another message that says, I've already taken the book from my idiot partner. Stop by my cubicle later and take the book to your desk to hide it. In my briefcase, the key is 981. back and see that guy. Swallow your anger. Pretend. This guy here. Alright, come here. Come here. There. Oh. Alright, you little sheep. Marketing meetings are uh, really exciting. All right, so we just have to get this chick here, and I don't know how to get her. I have no I can't see a way, like, through. It's all wall here. How do you know that? Because they love their goats so much they take them everywhere. You guys are not very nice. You're just jealous because I'm hurting goats. Is that all of them? Well, that's all four of them. Something happened. A marketing girl who was already inside just escaped. I tried to catch her, but it was impossible. She got into HR. It's the door on that corner. It's locked. Poor thing, sick of marketing and slogans, and she always goes there to get a new job. No problem. I'll take a look. Thank you. Oh, watch your step in there. The HR girls are a little cheeky. But if you remember the little tricks I told you about, you won't have a problem. What the fuck does that mean? What does that mean? Am I going to die? You're all over it. Fitness is very important in these, uh, sed sedentier, oh my god, that word. Uh.
you wait. Uh, can I unlock the door? Nice, okay. Are you okay? I've been told you have to open your mouth when they spit on you. Is that true? <laughs> yeah, my thoughts exactly. Who came in? Come closer. Come closer. he's doing, but there's a man over there. Okay, good. Nice. Let's welcome him, girls. I just saw you. Hello. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe. Is something bothering you? Do you know anything about resumes? Not much, really. Well, you can't help me then. Come back when you know something. Nobody knows how to make a resume. What is that? Welcome, Hunter. Come closer. I was waiting for you. Do you want me to kiss you? <laughs> What's the matter? A kiss? I'll make a man out of you. Isn't that what you came for? That thing is not right. It's giving me very, a uh, very bad feeling. I shouldn't go near it. I gotta find the marketing girl and get out of here. I see. You don't even want to talk to me. Are you shy? Or are you afraid of me? Is that what the company hires? Is it, is it that the company hires cowards as hunters now? <sighs> you jackass. Are, are you the witch? <laughs> I'm just a friend who wants to help you. What kind of help? I have a clue. Clues about her. You don't believe me? Look, look. Very important clue, but the witch is empty. Closer if you want to take it. Can't quite see what it is from here, but it looks like a photograph. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I've got it. It's perfect. What? What else is it going to be? The slogan for my resume. Do resumes have slogans? Sure. How could you get here without one? With the number of resumes they have to read every day in human resources. The most important thing is the first sentence, the initial slogan. I have a perfect one. Take a look at it. Lick me and let me explode inside your mouth. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Whoa. My dude. It's perfect, don't you think? I, I maybe wouldn't have... I mean, it's a bit direct, right? 
And what do you know? He didn't even know a resume should have slogans. Bumpkin. I don't want to get close to that thing. No, the delicious mouth doesn't want to taste me. That thing on the wall? You really want her to eat you? <laughs> what a question. Isn't that what we all want? The pleasure of being desired? Getting recognition from your company? Emotion? But the mouth doesn't love us all equally. Some of them are savored for a while, and then she spits them out. She didn't even spit on me. But I can't give up. They say there's a way to trick her. There's an object. A magical symbol that she can't see. A symbol? Some say it's a figure of voodoo magic. If you wear it, she'll notice you. She'll want you. She'll pull you in. But if you don't have it, she can't see you. She doesn't love you. And that makes me very sad because she doesn't love me. Okay, so I'm not going near that thing, right? I think we can all agree. I'm trying to get around. No more marketing. <coughs> okay. That was not the answer to that. Not really that convincing, but I'll try to remember it. Nice, I do need batteries. The wall is full of resumes. Can you calm down? Good. Okay. Just kicking my ass. She's out for blood. But, uh, yeah. Nope! 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 I mean, I think we all knew that that was gonna happen. I was just trying to, like, get closer to the briefcase. That's all. Bad save spot, by the way. Bad safe spot. Sintra fortune part of a cover-up? Unofficial sources seem to believe so, as they've been unable to access the autopsy report so far. Something about Sintranet, Sintra Corp's heiress's death? I smell a conspiracy.
I missing the slogan here? Uh, I don't know anything. <laughs> oh, God. I can't get close to the briefcase. I get close to the briefcase, that's it. I think I've got the slogan that I need for this, to be honest. Yeah, I don't so I don't think I've got what I need. I've got two pieces of cheese, only one piece of bread. talking to the resume guy again okay are you uh, yeah how did you know i'm not really sure about my slogan look look no more slogans just be yourself <laughs> do you think the mouth will like it sounds simple straightforward and different i'm convinced i'm sure the mouth will like it yeah but what if she doesn't like it i can't risk looking like an idiot in front of my co-workers That's gonna help us though. I don't think she's going to like that. She she doesn't want she does not want to come. Oh my god, my effing back. Is there anything here? Nothing there. Oh, sorry, nothing there. We don't have that voodoo object, though, do we? I mean, we have this. I don't know what to do with this. I can't use it. I don't know when we picked that up. Is that what she said? Our slogans, eh? Good job, because I didn't realize that part. I just know she was tired. I just remembered she was tired of her job. You coming? 
that picture is the best clue I've... Are you telling me I have to go back this way? don't know this paper doll with attracting enough attention if I get rid of it and give it to someone else Give it to this guy. Here, do you want to use this? You can be yourself in death. You don't want this? Okay. Do you want this? Could this be the symbol that the mouse is attracted to? You show her the piece of paper. What's a dirty piece of paper? I don't want your crap. If it does work, try someone else, someone other than me. Do you want this piece of paper? Do you want this piece of paper now? girl and take your trophy. I assure you, we'll meet again very soon. I'll end up giving you that kiss when you least expect it. Girls, please escort him out. Uh-oh. I finally got out. I hope those things can't get out of here. Well, here's the last one. Thank you very much. Please work, mate. Would you mind getting back to the others? I owe you big time. Without you, I wouldn't have been able to handle everything. No problem. Don't worry about it. You taught me the trick to hiding properly. Silly. But that was nothing. You've helped me with my task. It's only fair that I could be with yours. What were you doing on this floor? You told me something about a horse, didn't you? Uh, uh, well, it was nonsense. Motivational talk, homework, nothing important. I want to help you. I was asked to come to this floor to make a friend. And well, I thought maybe. Uh-oh. Oh no. 
They told me they always leave their office at the end of the month, but it's too early. I don't understand. Looks like they're gone. Well, I think I'd better get back to my office. I have to give something important to a workmate. I still have a lot of work to do around here, but later I'll buy you a cup of coffee for everything you've helped me with. All right, I'll see you later. How the hell do I get out of here now? <laughs> the hell's the elevator? How do I, how have I literally forgotten how this place exists? <laughs> Where's the elevator? This is, this is hilarious to me. gonna be a thing. You go up to the top, that would really help me out, you know? <sighs> Ma'am, please. Good lord, what is happening in there? Could she be now? Oops. It was an invisible barrier.
invisible barrier. All right, let me try the other side. I didn't know there was anything like this on this intranet. It's a digital library. The company has a collection of more than 10 million books and articles. I'd like to spend my free time scanning and debugging the material. I was just now analyzing in detail that Hex and Hanley brought me earlier. It's a fascinating book. Did you know that to close the deal with the devil, witches have to drink his blood? Yuck. Speaking of which, I think I found a clue. found this. Where did you get it? I went to Human Resources on the fourth floor and there was a giant mouth on the wall. She said she was my friend and she wanted to help me hunt down the witch. I told her you were a hunter. I, I didn't tell her anything, but she already knew. I don't know how to put it into words, but I felt like I was talking to the witch. Everything about her gave me chills. Do you know who they are? Yes, it's the Sintra family. Sintra Corp was created in 1951 by Zhao Sintra. No? I'm not very good with other languages. In the photo, besides the patriarch, is his wife. Oh god. Shu. I'm gonna butcher this. Ying. I'm trying to remember how. It's like. Is it like. Is it Chi? Or is it. Shi? It's like a CH or a. SH or I could be completely wrong. I don't know. And his daughter, Ray Sintra, is here. You have a certain resemblance to her, don't you? That's correct. According to the company records, Ray Sinatra died at the age of 11. The family was so saddened that when I was made, they wanted to honor her memory by making me in her image and likeness. So who is the person with the burned face? Because of her height and dress, she could be another girl of similar age, but I'm sure the family didn't have any more descendants. The ghost. It's possible she's a friend of Ray's, but it's impossible to identify her from this image. Do you think talking to someone in the family might help? It's a great idea, but I'm afraid there's no one left alive. The last relative of the Central family died in 1983. Well, I guess I can relax a little bit and go look for other clues in the canteen. There's one thing I don't understand. Why did the witch give you this picture? Well, she didn't really give it to me. She used it as a trap to get me to approach her so she could attack me. I managed to trick her and get the picture. We don't know if it might be another trap, but at least, but at the same time, it's best. It's the best thing we have. I'm struggling to read right now. Oh my god. We need to get information on the Sintra family. We need to find out who that other girl is. But how? You just said they're all dead. The remains of the Sintra family are stored on the 8th floor. Head over there and try to find out what you can. Well, okay. It means yes, I'm gonna go check it out. I know what it means, Brian. But I did notice a change in your attitude. You told me you went to human resources, didn't you? Huh? What were you doing there? Oh yeah, well, I was helping Kate, a partner from the Hive. Is she your girlfriend? What? No, she's not my girlfriend. She's someone I met in the lobby this morning. Today is her first day, too. I know what you're going to tell me. And no, I haven't told her anything about me being a hunter. I didn't tell anyone. Okay, I did tell. I, I did tell somebody about that. I think he was on my side. Uh... Why are you in such a hurry to find the witch? I mean, I know it's my main goal, but I don't have to do it all my first day of work, do I? The odds of success are indirectly proportional to how long you work for the company. The longer you take, the harder it is for you to succeed. What do you mean by that? While you're searching for the witch, she's probably doing the same thing to you. If she finds you unprepared... Let's talk about Colonel Dumont. I went to the motivational meeting. Oh my god, that guy is out of his mind. And after everything else today, I did. I don't even think I'm surprised. 
These meetings have been organized to boost your productivity and emotional worth within the company. Just so you know, he set me a, he set me a task. Supposedly, I have to make a friend on the fourth floor. Then I ask you to prioritize the elimination of the witch. Motivational tasks are not mandatory. Don't forget what we hired you for, Mr. Pastrana. Oh. Yes. You saw me Brian before, and now you've called me Mr. Pastrana again. Probably. Sorry about the mistake, Mr. Pasternak. Call me Brian, please. Mr. Pasternak sounds like my father, on the outskirts. The first name is always used for young people, not the same name. Debug error, as you wish. I don't trust her. I don't trust you. I think there's something. I don't trust it. You know what? I don't trust anybody here. Um, Sosa. I have a video. We're gonna be friends by the end of this. I fucking know it. Oh, I don't I have to go down to the canteen to, I can make a pizza finally. Isn't it somebody's like birthday? I have to help set up. Still can't get to the sixth floor. It's off limits. Where's the cereal guy? Yum! I got some, uh, how many credits do I have? Does it tell me? 465. So, nothing? I can't do anything? Oh, okay. Nothing, eh? Alright. I should probably save again. It always does that. Hello. I actually have two slices of cheese, if that matters. It wasn't for playing with fire or starting or staring at screens, you'll find that the goblin saw the witch so many times that he went blind. It's a rusty broken swing, I wonder what it's doing in a place like this. I've got cheese for the goblin. Um, how many batteries do I have? Oh, you... Uh... It's a little sussy, doesn't it? It says, Central Family Cemetery, 19, 1894 to 1983, in memory of a poor family that became the most important in the capital city. May evil never follow you here, and may you rest in peace. Locked. Looks like a cemetery. There is a big rusty lock on this gate. I don't think I can get it without a key. I think I know where the witch is. Haunting cemeteries, eh? So like her. Where did all this fog come from? It smells like burning. Maybe it's smoke? I don't think I'm going to get through there. You guys just all up over here smoking? Like a sieve? Where did that guy say he was? Floor 3, right? Yeah, floor 3. Okay, let's go see this guy. Oh shit, that means sorry. Oh my god. Once you start, you can't stop. I just need to be, like, professionally stretched, you know? Oh. Nothing interesting here. Except it's my friend. Hello, Doshi. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Put it over there. What? Oh, hello. Hi. What's up, dude? 
checking to see what you were doing around here. You're taking a stroll around the company, are you? Well, welcome to Electronic Garbage Paradise, buddy. Here, I fix a little bit of everything. Computers, printers, telephones. I also like to collect components for, well, modifying things or doing my experiments. But hey, that's a secret. You work alone? No one helps you? Yeah, well, there used to be more. But between this and that work-related accidents, there are... What? <laughs> you know what I mean, don't you? No, I missed, uh, I missed part of that last sentence because I skipped it. Uh, I don't have much to uh, work to do actually around here. The crowd can't tell. A turned on computer from a turned off one. I've had orders accumulated for years and no one says a word, so I mind my own business. This company is chaos. I don't know how it's still going. I have a theory that's gonna drive you crazy. Want me to tell you? Yes. First of all, get all that old witch stuff out of your head. We're old enough not to go around believing in fairy tales. Well, look, this is very simple. This company is a machine, and the parts that make it work are the employees and all that. You follow me? Sort of. For example, imagine that the company is a printer you have at home. One day it prints out two sheets of paper together. Another day it misprints some data. The next day it swallows paper, mixes the files you send it to print. Well, you know, the typical printer moves. Uh huh. You know that damn thing is freaking out. It's broken or something. And you call your buddy Doshi to keep an eye on it and fix it for you? Awesome. But dude, what if there's no owner? The only printer exists. If only the printer exists, who says it's broken? All their parts are working. They take paper, they print. They may work oddly, but they work. And that's what's happening to this company. It's broken, it's corrupt, but at the same time, it's still working. You following me? How are you holding up? Mm. Well, while you're recovering from the astral travel, let's get to the point, man. Besides being a philosopher and fixing things, I also sell some supplies. Want to see? Sure. <laughs> yeah, get that shit out of the way. What do you got for me, my dude? Sell all these alkaline batteries for the highest of the highest quality for 100 beans each. Almost given away. Listen, if you eight cartridges, and Finally, I have this wonder. This is art and technology fused together in the form of plastic tubes that eliminate for hours and hours. You can carry them in your hand or leave them on the floor. Pick them up later. Very useful. When you run out of batteries, it costs 50 beans each. But since you're new, I'll give you three. So you can try them. I love them. Thank you. They'll be great for when I'm trying to navigate each floor. There's so little light in this building. You go around the building a lot. I'm always going back and forth. But do you just go for walks, or do you search the drawers and the filing cabinets? A little, yes. Awesome. Well, maybe you can help me. Let's just say I deal with other things besides what you can see here. I'm freaking out over a little jewelry I want to fix, and, well, I'm looking for pieces all over the building. If you get me one of those pieces, I could give you a good reward. Maybe I have some. What are they like? They're matte red plated electronic components. If you bring me one of those, I could give you some really nice stuff. I think I found one of those things. Take a look. Sweet, buddy. You really are dope. As a reward, let me see that little flashlight of yours. Make a few changes here and there. Good to go. I got a modified flashlight. Now you have a bigger, much cooler beam of light. Thank you. Thanks to you, dude. If you find more of those pieces, you know who to give them to. What are dot matrixes? Oh, I could talk about them for months. In short, they're matrix printers. Yes, but let's see. If you're putting a gun to my head, do you know anything about Centricorp's history? Not much, actually. People forget it. But this company was a leading technology company in the 70s before it started to manage and speculate on data. So it was Xerox? In its day, the sixth floor was full of R&D projects, malfunction computers, photocopiers, printers, robotics, even memory scanners. This crowd experimented with all kinds of stuff, but although they registered a handful of prototypes, never went anywhere. Summarizing, my theory is that a dot matrix is a Centricorp experiment that went wrong. Gossips also say that they originated when one of the scientists who works on them got his hand caught between the needles, and well, the result of that is obvious. And do you know any tricks to avoid them? Those things are almost blind, but they feel the vibrations of your voice and the ground. Don't run away, unless you have no choice. And another thing, 
those creepers are in love with ink. Don't forget to take some ink with you. An ink cartridge, but use it if the dot matrixes catch you so they let you go and leave you alone for a while. Thank you. I got a battery! Sweet. Which paper? Hey, good. Hey, dude. Good vibes, but don't go near that door. Sorry. What's back there? What are you working on? Is it a secret? Tell me. So we have to look out for printers? Is that what he just alluded to? Like, what the hell is that? It's my glow stick. Alrighty, well, uh. Hmm. It's a ghost. Like, I feel like I, I don't want to discard that yet because I need it. Okay, um, now what am I doing? I'm going back to 4 or 5 for a second. I have a video for you, do you care? Where's Hugo? Hey Sosa, how are you doing? I'm fine, doesn't hurt at all, and you? Yeah, are you afraid of Hugo? Sorry, I didn't mean to be so blunt. Oh, did he send you to ask me? Is he hiding, listening to us? What? No, come on, I don't think he, does he usually do that kind of thing? A much worse, Pastor Mac. Everybody's afraid of Hugo. He's been with the company for a long time. He's been rising from the lowest floors. He has contacts on each floor and moves freely through the company. Haven't you seen the toad jumping around yet? I have seen that. What's with that costume? Super Toad is his alter ego. He's supposed to be some kind of company superhero, but it's just an excuse to do what he likes without giving explanations. He's very smart, Pastor Knack. He always covers his back in public. He's that funny, slightly naughty fellow who's playing pranks on rookies. But when he disguises himself, he's totally uncontrollable and goes completely unpunished. Behind that mask, he can do anything that goes through his head. And believe me, he won't hesitate to pass over or go through whoever's between him and what he wants. Why is that? What does he want? I think he wants to be the next boss of the company. Please, Pastor Nack, if he finds out I've spoken to you, take it easy. I don't trust him a bit. You won't tell him anything. Can you know the 8th floor cemetery? Yeah, who told you about it? Did you go there? Yeah, I was just walking around and I got lost. Nobody goes near that place. The Sintra family members are buried there. The founders of the company. That family has always been associated with witchcraft. And some of the company employees claim that she lives in that cemetery. I wouldn't go near that place if I were you. What was Hugo saying about you guys having a secret club? You want to come in? Registration is open. No, I mean, I don't know. Tell me about it first. Oh, of course. It's called Video Club. Mysterio. Dun, dun, dun. Do you like the name? Sounds interesting, of course. It's a cinema club where we watch horror movies, B-series, authors, films, and we also make our own short horror films. I'm sure you must have seen our tapes around. We've hidden copies all over the building so that when someone finds them, they'll say, oh, what a mystery. Wow, how creative. And you made the short films? I'm an actress in some of them, but I always help wherever I can. But the real artist is Mappy, who's our director. Mappy? 
She's a very introverted girl, but she can take all the strange things that surround us and turn it all into art. So what, Pachinac? Join Video Mysterio? Video Club Mysterio? Sure, go on, why not? Great, great, great. Then that makes three of us. Here, I made you a temporary ID. Have you seen any of the Mysterio tapes around yet? I've seen some of your shorts. Very mysterious. I didn't understand much, though. It's best understood when you look at all the tapes. How many tapes are there? It's a mystery. Oh, are you telling me something about the children of the witch? What are they? They're creatures in her service. You could say they're like her lieutenants. They roam freely through the building. Though, if you've been in the company for some time, you can get to know which areas are most dangerous. For example, on this very floor, there's that guy you saw in Office D. At the archives, there's the spider. In the hive, you can normally see the girls of human resources and the dot matrix dot matrix they're the most dangerous i recommend that you talk to doshi on the third floor if you want information about them where do they all come from this company has been rotting from within pasternak haven't you seen all the poisonous air spreading through the building all the workers who breathe it in get infected and end up transformed by her that stench has to come from somewhere from a giant cauldron she has a very large cauldron and does her experiments there. She immerses the workers she captures in this infected breeding ground and transforms them into her children. That literally makes sense. <laughs> that literally makes sense. blood. That shit do be wild. Anyway, so this is great. I'm part of a video club now. I love, uh, speaking of clubs, do you guys... know that there is a new Exorcist coming out in October. The Exorcist is my favorite movie. Do I have to follow him? I think he's on floor four, right? I was waiting to get in and it took too long. Um, why do I have to contend with... Yeah, there was a printer that was there and now the printer is boomed. The printer has boomed. I forgot, we haven't been here yet. We weren't able to go here yet. Are you asking for help? <laughs> Me? Please, man, please. Oh, why don't you just go there and rummage through the trash? I'm trying to concentrate on my work. What exactly are you doing here? It's none of your business. You're all moving nonstop, but I don't understand what for. Of course you don't understand with your brain underdeveloped due to malnutrition. In any case, Potter, what difference does it make? There must have been some confusion. It's obvious this is not my place. Pretty soon I'll be on the top floors of this building, higher than anyone else. Do you know which family I belong to? The family Chapman? No. How could I drag my last name into mud like this? Damn it, if my father saw me now. If you don't want to be here, why don't you just change floors? <laughs> change floors? What a groundbreaking idea. But how can I do that? But the elevator is right there. You think I'm a moron? I know the damned elevator's right there, and you think I don't see it? But they won't let me go. 
douchebag. Even if I could, I wouldn't be here with this rabble running around like a chicken without a head. The only way out of here is with that stupid game. What game? It's some kind of absurd test. If you manage to win, your badge is automatically upgraded and you can move up to the next floor. You haven't tried it yet? <laughs> Me. Yeah, well, no, it's just I'm not sure of the rules. And you know what they say, a businessman never participates in a game without knowing the rules. The Art of War, Sun Tzu. Well, good luck with the game. I'll see you around. Wait. You see, I just had a brilliant idea. You could be in it for me, Pasternak. Well, I see you remember my name now. <laughs> come on, man, don't be like that. I'm sure that in the suburbs where you come from, you're used to playing with these kinds of poor people's games. What do you say? Will you help me? Give me a thousand credits. I see you're starting to sound like a businessman. I don't usually deal with farm animals. But I guess everyone has to roll up their sleeves once in a while. No? I do. But I'll only pay you back when you win the game. What am I supposed to do? Press that button next to the door. When they ask you who you are, you have to say my name. That's how you get into the game room. Here, take my ID in case you get in trouble. Alright, well, I'll work on that eventually. I got coffee, so how about you get fucked, my guy? Initiation time. empty. How many batteries have I got? Okay, I've got five. This is ridiculous. We love coffee. Oh, oh god, it's all haze down there though. There's nothing I can do. Do I want to do this? I haven't saved in a while, you know? You can exit out of the order. I feel like I should probably save first. I'm gonna give this a try. I should save. Where's the closest printer? Uh... Probably there. I'll just... This is gonna be a long way. Was there one down in the canteen? Floor two. I wonder if there's a way to deal with that gas. If there's any way to like shut it off. We're going down to the sewers. Is that what floor six is about? All right. Well, at least we've saved. Welcome, Mr. Chapman. The test will begin immediately. What are the rules? What am I supposed to do? This is not an autonomous system. It is, the, it is only judge of the only judge of when you have or have not passed the test. Do I leave the circle or not? Looking for heart one? I'm trying to get the smiley one? Oh, I 
I saw one. The test is over.